when you have a function that looks like this or a function that looks like this. You have yourself absolute value function. What I like about this picture is that when the A was negative, the graph was facing down, but when the A was positive, the graph was facing up. Now about the A, A determines slope, but also determines what direction the graph is facing. If A is greater than zero, the graph is facing up. But if great, if the A is less than zero, then the graph goes down. So, in general, positive A makes the graph go up, and negative A makes the graph reflect, and A is the slope, in case graphing. And now we are going to be talking about the roles of H and K. So negative H is equal to the X value of the vertex. For example, if H is equal to 3, then the X value of the vertex is also negative 3. No, it will be negative 3. If K is the Y value of the vertex. So if K is 5, Y value of the vertex is also 5. In general, vertex is equal to negative HK. So in this example, vertex is negative HK. Vertex is negative 4, negative 5. Slope is A, so the slope is 3. But that all changes with the introduction of B. What B does to the graph is that the vertex is no longer negative HK. K remains the same, but the H is different now. And the slope is different as well. So, how do you find slope, you're asking? Well, it's just B times A. So, there are two different ways to find the x value of the vertex, because we already know the y value, which is k. One way is to plug in k for y, so it would look like this. You subtract k by both sides, you get this. You can either distribute the two or factor it out. I distributed it. Wow, that sounds weird. And then, I solved it algebraically by moving a to the other side, dividing it, and got... 4 over 3 as my x value of the vertex. So, the other way to find it is just negative h divided by b. For example, if you had something that looked like this, and you were asked to find the vertex and the slope, you would uh, put negative h divided by b, 8 over 4, equal to 2, which is equal to the x value of the vertex, k is equal to 10, which is equal to the y value of the vertex, so the vertex is 210. Finding the slope is just a times b, so it would be 8. Other ways to solve is solving for points. For example, if you wanted to solve for the y being 14, so then you would just subtract 4 by both sides. You would get this. Then you would add 2 to both sides, multiply both sides by 2, and when y is 14, x is 2 and 6. Now, graphing is a bit different. All you have to do is find the vertex and just follow the slope. And that is how you solve absolute value functions.